How's it guys? This is just a quick video about the ZVE-10 connecting to the Crane 2S or the Crane M3 via the USB-C cable. Um, so first of all what you want to do you want to go to your menu go to your smartphone connect make sure that your smartphone connection is switched off otherwise you won't be able to go into the USB connection go back to PC remote function and make sure that PC remote function is switched on so once you've done that now you can go on and set your camera up and connect it to your to your gimbal so let's quickly do that Right, and that's it. So now your crane gimbal is connected to your camera. The only functionality that you've got with this is basically just to stop and start recording video. That is basically the only function that you currently have using the cable. The only downside of using the cable um, to control the camera via the gimbal is that it disables the eye and face detection um, eye and face autofocus so that will be disabled when you are using the cable which I don't like um, so I don't use the cable at all but there is another way that I use my gimbal let me show you first of all I'm just gonna switch everything off <coughs> Unplug the cable. The positive thing about using the cable though is you, you can charge your your ZVE 10 through the gimbal. Um, so it stays powered up. So that's a nice little feature um, and that's about the only feature that I will use it for. So let me show you. For those of you that bought the, the ZVE10 combo deal, you got the Bluetooth handle with that. Um, for those of you that bought the camera without this little Bluetooth handle, you can buy this separately. Um, I'm not quite sure what the retail price of these is currently, but yeah, I've got the combo deal which included this little, this little uh, Bluetooth handle. So this is nice, it's got a little tripod on, you can mount your camera on the top, use it for vlogging. And what's nice about this, it controls your camera via Bluetooth. It has a photo button, it has a video button, it has the C1 button, and it has a zoom button. So the, room, the zoom rocker key is actually touch sensitive. So as you can see on the camera, if I use the zoom, it actually zooms in the camera. So this is where things get fun. Let me show you. So now what I do is I take off my little tripod piece off my gimbal. I connect my Bluetooth handle to the bottom of the gimbal. So now this is what it looks like. So what this allows me to do is use the gimbal and actually have full control over my zoom and everything else. I can stop start recording, I can zoom in and out, I can use my C one button, everything from the Bluetooth handle which is now attached to my gimbal. Also gives me a bit more stability in holding the gimbal. So yeah, it's a nice little setup there.